Hola, I'm Yuwada Hosby, and I participated in the 24 Hours Comics Challenge, but I did it in my own terms, which that challenge is um, the first Saturday of October. I did it on my terms. Uh, I did a zine instead of a comic, and it's 19 pages. I couldn't think of anything extra to make it 24. I'm not done yet. I penciled and I inked, but I still need to erase, but my hand is, whoo, it is hurting, you guys. There's no way I can grip an eraser. So, uh, I'm gonna have to wait on that tomorrow <laughs> to try and finish this, uh, this zine. Um, I did it 5 p.m. to 5 p.m. So I still got time. The reason I did that <laughs> is because the day before, <laughs> I, uh, drew a lot on Unscripted 3 and that messed up my hand. So I was like, oh, I gotta give myself a break for this Saturday. It's been raining nonstop for two days. So that kind of put me in a chill, like a relaxed mode. And plus today, October 1st, is the start of spooky season and I'm watching a scary movie every single day of October. I got to get that out of the way in the daytime. <laughs> so I was watching horror movies uh, before I started this project. But with this 24 hours comics challenge that I did for this year, I did finish 19 pages on regular paper. But I don't want you guys to think, oh my gosh, she did like a whole um, comic like it's not a full blown comic or anything like that. I'll give you like, uh, I'll show you. It's out of order of what I did, but. So it's called A Comic Diary of a Light Worker. I thought that would be fun to do a zine like that. Keep smiling, what I always say. <laughs> Cause this is just the one shot zine. It's not gonna be any more. It's not gonna be a sequel or anything like that. So I'd say it's mostly words, but it is a zine, not a comic. And it's talking about, uh, let me see, what I wrote as the description. This 16-page zine shares the journey of me figuring out I was a light worker in 2020. So that's basically, ugh, that's basically the premise. And I love drawing me. That's why I'm invested in comic diaries. So I had to include me in some of these images. Since I can't even grip uh, um, an eraser, I know there's no way that I can color it with color pencil. I don't have any markers or anything. So my plan is to erase tomorrow. Then I'll get them scanned eventually, the pages, and then I'll digitally color. I think that would be good. I did, um, oh, sorry. There's also this page and this page, which I did color everything, 
black that's supposed to be so I did do that part I probably should have erased first but it's okay the pencil marks so I've had this idea before <sighs> I can't remember what year it was but I don't remember I really don't but I did the sketchbook uh, the Brooklyn sketchbook library they um they have projects every once in a while where you can buy a sketchbook. It's like a really small sketchbook. Pretty tiny. You draw in it, you send it in, and um, they'll put it in their library so people can check it out. And you can also do it digitally so people can look at it online. I paid for one of those. And it was like over a year hadn't heard anything like I did in the first book so I was wondering what was going on but um then we got notification that there had been a fire so I'm assuming that my sketchbook was one of the ones that uh got damaged and that's why I never saw it on the website so I was like oh man but it's not their fault that that happened so I actually submitted my story idea to a comics publisher because uh, she was doing a, um, I call them comic diaries, but I think they were just called mini comics. She was doing a collection of um, artists who wanted to tell like a childhood story. So my idea got rejected because um, it's not just talking about my uh, childhood years. But with this uh, 24 hours comic challenge, because for a while now and I've been like, I really want to make this zine and I just never have done it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it tonight. And I did. I started at 5 p.m. And I'm making this video, um, I want to say it's like 1.30 a.m. So, I set out what I needed to do, even though it's not the full 24 pages and it's not a comic. I will still pat myself on the shoulder that I did it, because this is a project that I've been meaning to do for a while. I still got ways to go though. Like I said, I've got to erase all that. Whoa. <laughs> but that should be fine. And I don't know if you can hear the background, but it's raining hard. It has been raining nonstop for the past two days. And I believe that's because of Hurricane Ian coming up from Florida. Now it's making its way up north, which I'm in West Virginia. So yeah, sorry if that's pretty loud because it's pretty loud to me. <laughs> so that was my version of the 24 hours comics challenge, 5 p.m. to 5 p.m. So I still got time tomorrow. I'm actually about ready to film another YouTube video and then I'm not going to say I'm going to bed because that will be lying. <laughs> but uh, I'll probably just find something to watch or read on my Kindle. Like try to turn the lights off and try to mellow out so I can try to go to bed at a decent time. A decent time for me is 3 or 4 a.m. <laughs> Especially since I got to work tomorrow. But thankfully I'm the closer so I go in late. But if you like this video, please hit the like button, comment, or subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.